Hey, Reed Dave here. Hope you're having an awesome day. So I have been cranking on my 1M robots, and uh, you may even hear my 3D printer going off in the background, but this week I thought I want to build a little buddy for this guy. He seems a little cranky, so maybe we can cheer him up? Come on, let's do it. <laughs> Hey, here's my little sketch I made uh, about a week or so ago, and originally he was gonna have a little bag of chips, but I've got something really special that I found, and I'll talk about that a little bit later. So, first things first, let's go ahead and make a little armature. I'm just using some aluminum foil, we'll roll that up, and I'm just trying to build the shape of this little monster. I built it in two parts, so I went ahead and used some chopsticks to kind of help hold this all together, and I rolled out some clay, and really all I'm trying to do right now is just cover the thing. It's gonna look really ugly at first, and that's okay. It's just part of the process. Um, you gotta just kind of keep building up some clay, smoothing it out, blending it with your fingers, and eventually with some elbow grease, you'll get it all smoothed out. Here I sliced another little piece, and I wanted to give that lip a little bit of an edge. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and blend that in. Got some cheeks. Just kind of smash those in, blend them in. And I actually used some paint thinner to kind of smooth that out a little bit. Um, and that worked pretty nice. Just kind of doing a little indentation. I actually ended up making that hole a little bit bigger because it wasn't quite big enough for the eyeball itself. But uh, I thought it'd be kind of fun to put a little eyebrow on this, make it a little bit of a SpongeBob feel. Use the end of the paintbrush again to just uh, in do a little indentation so the tooth just drops right in. I think that feels really nice. Now for the hips, I went ahead and just made kind of like an egg shape, sliced it in half, took my thumb and just kind of flattened it out and then kind of set that on there. I thought it'd be really fun if he had kind of these little squatty legs, almost like he'd rather just be sitting around eating noodles than get up and uh, be doing anything active. So for the horns, I thought it might be nice if they had some sort of kind of ring that the horns could set into. So. I just took these two little flat discs and then took the end of the paintbrush and kind of knocked out a little hole there. Then I took some clay, uh, after I blended that in, I took some clay and rolled it up, made little horns, and then the horn just drops right into that little, you know, little facet for the horns. I, I think it looks pretty cool. I'm really liking how this is turning out. All right, he needs a little bum, so let's go ahead and give him that working on some hands. I want him to be actually holding the ramen noodle bowl. So I'm gonna go ahead and sculpt this around, get his thumb up there so it's kind of holding that bowl. And then I got another little hand that he's holding this spoon. And here I'm just taking some flower wire. That way the arm has some rigidity to it. Otherwise it'd just be flopping around because it's so skinny. After drilling some holes, I was able to push the flower wire through Use a little bit of clay to kind of cover that and fix some of the spots. Kind of arrange the arms to be sitting in the right spot and then go bake this thing. Now, after I baked it, I did a teal base and then a fluorescent pink ombre over the top. And I was kind of playing around the paint job. I was thinking almost like a chameleon, how their skin color can change. And I thought maybe he's so happy because he's eating this bowl of ramen, his skin color is kind of transitioning and changing. So. I don't know, I, I, I thought it was kind of a fun little uh, little play there. Um, here I am just finishing up some final details, painting in the pupil. Now for the lip, I, I felt like it just wasn't standing out quite enough, so I went ahead and I painted a teal line across the top of the lip, kind of just to match the base color. And for the horns, added just a little bit of a brown wash on that. I felt like it gave it a nice kind of bone texture, um, as if it was a horn or, or whatever. So. For the base, I wanna do something a little bit unique. So I went ahead and got this little wood base and I'm carving some lines into it as if it was like the floor of like a restaurant or maybe that's kind of where he sits and eats, maybe in his living room or something. Putting this stain on here, wiping it down. I think it gives a cool, nice texture. Now here's that mini verse thing that I was talking about. We've got some ramen noodles, some naruto, and you got your little eggs. And the cool thing is, is it comes with this resin that you squeeze out. And then once you've filled the bowl, 
you can take some of the ramen and just kind of drop it in there and fill out the bowl. I kind of just pressed it in so it looked like it was submerged under the broth. I'll keep adding the rest of the ingredients here, throwing the egg, and this is really fun. It's because it's still liquid resin, you can add additional things. There's even little chopped onions here. But what you have to do is actually cure this resin so it will harden. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in my UV cure. And I think we're gonna call this one done. Okay, so that was just all around a really fun build uh, or sculpt, I guess. Um, but I think this little mini verse thing really pushed it over the top and made it super cool. So let's do some turnaround shots of this thing. And as always, it's a great day to be a toy nerd. Have a great one.